Okay, if you're having a problem with your truck starting and then dying as soon as you let go of the key, first thing I would check is the adjustment of the solenoid rod length. This solenoid comes from the factory with this little rod adjusted all the way in. What happens if you put it in this way is that when this pulls in, the throw of the lever restricts this plunger from going all the way to the bottom of the solenoid. When you let go of the key and it goes to the run position, then the little magnet in the bottom won't hold it and it pops back out. And is what that does is when this pulls in when you're starting, and if it doesn't go far enough, and it's when you let go of the key, the solenoid switches to a small hold coil. That hold coil doesn't have enough strength to hold against the spring if the plunger is not all the way to the bottom and it'll pop back out by itself and your truck will die. Here's how I adjust it. Plug this into the harness, turn the key on, push the solenoid all the way in until it sticks. And since your run coil is on, it should hold in this position. And then loosen your adjustment, pull the lever up until it's in the run position, now your solenoid's in the run position, the lever's in the run position, slide the solenoid into place and adjust the length of this rod until it slides right over the, the little pin on the lever. Then tighten the lock nut up. Snug it. Put your bolts in you're ready to go. Turn the key off, this pops out, hit the starter, it'll pull in, just tap it, let go of the key, it'll hold in, turn the key off, it'll pop back out. When you hit the start, the big coil pulls it in, and then you let go of the key and the little coil holds it. You turn the key off, pops back out, shuts the fuel off, and the engine dies. Anytime you replace the boot, put on a new solenoid, or if you're just having problems with it, it's a good idea to check the adjustment on your fuel solenoid.